Good day to you, travellers. We've been expecting you now that the path is open once more. I hope you've brought your bravest and your best, for they're going to be sorely tested. In fact, they just won't believe what's waiting for them. But why wait? Please, step inside, if you dare. let the fire burn low and if it should burn out you wouldn't believe what would crawl in here and make itself comfortable pickle where are you you pesky elf here master sorry but i was miles away about four miles away and about 12 months ago to be exact i was just re-experiencing some of last season's adventures well you're late the season has begun and the watchers are already with us oh so they are i must admit i can't get used to the way they all cram in here Greetings, adventurers. Well, if they're here, then the first challenger can't be far behind. Exactly. Not behind at all, but before the threshold. So, enter, stranger. Ah, pickle the book and the pen. There's no time to lose. A name, age, and direction, please. And make it plain that the elf's still half in another world. I'm Catherine Croucher. <laughs> I'm aged 14, mm -hmm. and I come from Lippock in Hampshire. Lippock? There'll be more than enough of that, Master. Very good. You'll have advisors, so call them in and call loudly. There's Raylene, Faye, and Alison. Welcome! Who guides this dungeoneer? Raylene Kaminsky, Faye Keenan, Alison Baycroft. Hmm, all dressed alike, Master. Must be the bee team. <clears throat> and now listen, all of you, and listen very carefully. Uh, pickle the equipment, if you please. This is a strange land, and getting stranger than you can ever imagine. To conquer it, you must pledge to redeem one of four objects. The sword, the cup, the crown, or the shield. Each may be found in a different place, and perhaps time. And portions of each may well be found separately. So, choose now. Cup. Mm, well chosen. See, Master, all the essential trappings of adventure are here. And not before time. Here, Catherine, this knapsack will feed your life force in the dungeon. Place all food in it. And now for the eye shield. You cannot see with this yourself, but it will show us the path you take. And finally, the famous Helmet of Justice. But our rules compel you to walk in danger without sight of all but the nearest of objects. <laughs> you can, of course, refuse the quest now, if you wish. No. <laughs> I thought not. Very well. Let me guide you for the first and last time. There is a portal before you. Which path it will put you on, we cannot say, for these things act randomly. Step forward now and step into your adventure. Catherine, you're um, in a room, a very long room, and you've got the sky straight in front of you with a kind of dragon thing. Ah, yes, team. I think this is the equivalent of what you would call an international departure lounge. And the next flight is leaving shortly. Do you know this worm, Pickle? Can it possibly be trusted? Who can tell, Master? Who knows? Dragons tend to look alike, but they're comparatively rare in these parts. So I would guess this is one called Smirkenorf, or at least that's as close as I can get to the pronunciation. I suggest it's time to take a ride. A case of must fly now, Master. <laughs> okay, Catherine, we're going to put you on the dragon, okay? Okay. Okay, if you walk forward. Guide your friend into the seat carefully. Don't want to fall off Smirkinoff's back. 
Okay, can you see the seat, Catherine? Yep. Okay, move over to your left. Left. Mm -hmm. And over the girl, sit. Stop. <gasps> now, can you climb? Can you see the seat? If she can see it, she can, can get into it. Can you see it? it? Yeah. Can you get onto it then? Yeah. Ah. That's it. Ready for takeoff, I think. At least Smirkinov seems to be working for the powers that be, Master. Seems to be on our side. Well, hold fast, Catherine. It's a blessing you can't see what we can see. Otherwise, I'm not so sure you'd be so keen on carrying on. You better tell her what's happening to you. Yeah, help me, guys. Mm -hmm. You're flying over a lot of land. Towards the sea. Or the sky. <laughs> the sea. <laughs> the sea. <laughs> the sea. Yeah. And you're soaring in the air. Mm. Quite high up. Mm. Yeah, you're flying over the water. But you're quite low down there. What's that in the distance described? Oh, you looks like you're coming into land now. Yes. You're approaching a castle. 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 Ruin castle. Ruin castle. I think you're right, T. I think maybe you're going to land now. Yeah, I'm just going to land. Huh. Land if landed. Hardly a bump. <laughs> no. Well, I think it's time to dismount. You're gonna get out, Catherine. Mm. Well, turn to the right, I think. Take a step to the right. Okay, Catherine. Yeah. You're walking over some kind of hill towards the ruined castle. We're inside the ruined castle, looks like. Yes. And there's a door coming up ahead of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just carry on walking. Strange parts, Master. And just as you said, getting stranger. Be mm. walking, Catherine. Okay, now you're out in the wood and there's lots of tree stumps around. So be a bit careful. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a black thing, a kind of portal. And you seem to be heading straight around it, so just keep walking. Signs of human habitation, perhaps, Master? Where am I? Ah! Greetings, traveller! A pax mobiscum and a park your backside over here on one of these uh, splendid logs. Uh, Nature's throne, so to speak. Uh, sit yourself down, sit yourself down. Now, uh, do excuse us just for one moment whilst we uh, finish our game. Okay, there is a monk and some sort of creature, a man, I think. Okay. And they're playing cards around a tree trunk. Mm hmm. Or something. They're playing for money. Playing, playing, for, playing for money or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Ah, oh, sad, so sad. My Rex claims victory over your mere Regina. <laughs> now then, my dear young lady, welcome. Uh, let me introduce us. My name is Brother Mace, a beggarly monk, and this is Master Sylvester Hands, a brotherly beggar. I won't say that Sly here is a thief, but I wouldn't play cards against him if God wasn't on my side. Oh, it's harsh words. It's unkind. Unchristian and uncalled for. Especially when it pockets me gelt at the same time. <laughs> I wouldn't listen to him, your brave young worship. You'll be richer and wiser if you ignore it. Silence, you sneaky little cutpurse. Well, then it is plain to see that you're on some sort of a quest, dear young lady. So perhaps you'll be so good as to furnish us with your name and what it is you're after. My name is Catherine. And the object of your quest? The cup. Oh, they're at it already, Master. Giving out their names like there's no tomorrow. Quiet, Pickle, or there'll be no tomorrow for you and precious little more of today. Remember, team, there's knowledge to be had here. And on a quest, knowledge is wealth. Catherine? Yes? Ask if there's anything he can tell us. That would be of use to us. Sorry? Ask if there's anything he can tell us. Anything about the cup? Could you, um, is it possible for you to tell us anything about the cup? About the cup? Do you know anything? 
Oh, I know many things. The cup, let me see. Well, you've asked nicely, and you're a personable young lady, so I tell you what, I'll tell you what I can, for this plain you'll not get far without some help. Thank this you. forest is called Wolf Glade, for reasons that will become all too painfully obvious if you should happen to linger in it. On its borders lies the village of Wolfenden, a thriving little den of vice and iniquity, where friend Sly here feels quite at home. A leading citizen of that town is one Julius Scaramunger, merchant by trade and scoundrel by religion. I happen to owe him this uh, bag of gold, which I'd like you to deliver. Upon deposit, he'll gift you with some information, and perhaps even directions into the mines of Malapith. Now, be off with you. Uh, there's a portal in that hovel over there. It's elvish, so friend Sly can't use it to follow you. Here, let me point you in the right direction, so to speak. Over there. Thank Good you. luck to you. Uh, hmm. I keep walking, Catherine. Is it? Okay, Catherine. You're entering a village, and there's a, there's a few people in front of you, and houses to either side of you. Okay. Sly, so, wait. Hang up a minute there, because it's just about to become your lucky day, isn't it? How would you like to take a step towards wealth and riches? Well, who wouldn't, eh? Poverty is just the sin of ignorance, if the truth be told, and Julia Scaramonga couldn't tell anything but. Well, I couldn't, could I? My word is my bond. Now tell me, how much do you want for that item, eh? I mean, I wouldn't bother with it myself, but I've got a customer who's looking for the very thing. Catherine. So why don't you name me a price, and I'll make you a very happy girl. Catherine. 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 Mm. That's Julius Scaramanga. You know, the one that you've got to give the bag of gold to. Yeah. Which means you must be in Wolfendine. Am I in Wolfendine? You are indeed in Wolfendine. Okay. Now, how much do you want for the eye shoot? Tell them we don't want to. Mm. We don't. politely. We, we, um... We're not willing to sell the Irish shield, I'm afraid. No. But we have something in return, something like that. Mm. But, um, but we have something, something in return. Oh, I know what it is. You want to sell with the helmet, don't you? <laughs> no. You don't? I'm afraid not. Oh. Well, how about that knapsack, then? Tell no. him that, um, a monk... I've been speaking to a monk. Yeah, and he told you to give him the bag of gold. I've been speaking to a monk, and he's told me that I have to give you this bag of gold. So give me the money. I no, give don't. Money. Don't give it to him. No, okay. I'm sorry, I'm not... Come on, give me the money. No, um, I'm sorry, but... Say you'll give him some money. I'll give you some money, but, um, is there anything else that you can tell me? Well, look, uh, tell me where you got the purse from again. A monk. A monk? What mm -hmm. was the monk's name? What was the monk's name, guys? We don't know. Was it Mace? Know. Monk Mace? Because if oh, it was, yeah. and yes. I suspect it was, yes. yes. Yeah, well, I owe Macy a thing or two, so I'll tell you what I'll do, look. I'll give you this. It's a spyglass, right? Mm -hmm. Now, you give me the purse. Come on, give me the purse. Give me yeah, the that's purse that's and I'll I... give you the spyglass. No. Don't well, I'll tell you what the spyglass is used for then, shall yeah. I? Well, what do you think a spyglass is used for? Spying. Spying? Exactly. <laughs> now, you can do a lot of spying here, you see. If you... Just give me the purse, Hang eh? over. Put your hands. Take that and kind of... Hang over at the same time. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll tell you what, because I'm a fair bloke and I am a fair bloke, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you a bit more information, Thank right? You. Thank okay. You very much. Now, you need to find the gateway in, which is this big building down the place here a bit, huh? In it, you'll find the gateway. Get it? Okay. Yeah? Right, yeah. Oh, doubt it. Anyway, <laughs> get smart, get lost. Thank you very Thank much. much. The barter system is alive and well, Master. <laughs> You're on your way. Okay, now you're walking through past some more houses. Do you want to walk it faster? <laughs> right, you're just going along. I think this is the building here on your left. I think. Right, okay. Where are you going? Going in between two buildings. Okay, you're now. going in between two buildings down a fairly narrow arrowway. And you're walking you're... through a door. Right, Catherine. Catherine's energy low. There's food here. Okay, yeah, go up to the food, Catherine. It's on your right. So walk over to your right. That's it. Hmm. 
Well, what about the spyglass, Master? Why doesn't Catherine put it to use? Well, I'm not exactly certain how it is used. Catherine, try holding it up in front of the eye shield. Just hold it nice and steady, and we'll see if we can make something of it. <gasps> Mother with Master. What can you see? Shh, people. It's a man. Oh, quiet, the rest of you just those are fright nights, but this, unless I'm much mistaken, is the opposition. Away, you mindless bits of metal! What companions for an intellect that can freeze rivers and move mountains? Away, I'm trying to concentrate! Now, where is that pesky goblin master? And even more important, where is the dungeoneer he hunts for? Damnation! But although I see nothing, I feel something. Dragon's breath, but the impertinence of it. Something is spying on me. Very well, little spy. Take a good look. Because, you know, looks really can kill. Quick, get us to throw it down. Put it down, Catherine. Throw it down, Catherine. <sighs> right, Master. okay. I can't help feeling that this game is getting a lot more dangerous than it used to. Uh, Pickle, you must stop thinking of this as a game. Listen, team, that gentleman we just encountered at long range is Lord Fear. And it sounds very much as if he's put one of his minions on Catherine's trail. And no time to linger, I think. Is there a door over there? there yes. Right, like, see if there's anything else on the table. Oh. <laughs> I think it's okay. time to move, move on. Move on. Not for Catherine. Is there a door there? Yeah. You're going through the door. You're now into a kind of hall place. There's some stairs to your right. It's like a wooden room. OK, Catherine, you're just about to enter a wood, it looks like. <coughs> And um, there's, well, I don't know what's on the ground. It's some kind of yellow stuff. And Stand right where you are, or I'll make a pincushion out of you. Grief, they're sending some weekly specimens here nowadays. No wonder the opposition keeps on having them for breakfast. Right. All right, then. What's your name and what's your business? Tell you me. Your name? Catherine. My name's Catherine. Mm -hmm. And tell her you're on a... Quest and your business? Sorry? What's your business? I've come on a quest looking for truth, truth and justice. <laughs> well, I'm Gwendolyn, the Green Warden. I don't suppose you have an elder brother by any chance, do you? A tall elder brother? <laughs> I'm afraid not, no. Well, trouble with this 11th century is it's all big monsters and short men. Not that this is the 11th century, of course. But the powers that be seem to have used it as a recruiting den. Still, to business. The powers that be have tasked me to stop the spoilers and root out ignorance. So if you want the password, you'll have to please me. I know. The truth alone is all you need. So name the tree with the flying seed. Sycamore. 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 Correct! The first password you'll need is Saracen. That should get you past the first blocker. Ask how you spell it. How do you spell it? S-A-R-A-C-E-N. Thank you. Thanks. Have okay. you got that? Yes. yes. So. Now, here's your path and don't delay. There's green wood to be found on every level, so we may meet again. Thanks very much. Right, Catherine. Mm -hmm. You're in. What? Food, I think. We always need food. Watch your left, Catherine. Sidestep, that's it. Keep going. When you come to the table, can you see it? Yeah. You pick up the food. <gasps> the Catherine, opposition back. Has triggered a problem. Move back quickly. Move back, Catherine. Walk back with Walk quickly. Back, please. Stop. Password. Catherine, Saint say Saracen. Saracen. Sorry? Say Saracen. Saracen. Step forward a bit. Step forward, Step forward a bit. Oh. oh. Sorry. It was, Ooh, it was a wall and it had come towards you. It had a face. Right, OK. Keep walking, Catherine. Right, walk keep forward. walking. Is that a door there? Yes. That looks like an exit. OK. Right. Keep now, going. keep walking. 
Before it comes back, Stop. team. No, right, turn right. right to side step to your left. Left, I mean, sorry. Quickly. Oh, stop. Walk forward. Walk forward. Stop. Side step to your left. <gasps> it's machinery, stop. Master. It's not natural, I say. You wouldn't catch me riding on one of these things, even if it does lead to level two. Oh, silence, Elfwit. After hitching a lift on a dragon's back, I can't imagine this sort of... Apparatus holds much terror for Catherine. Hmm. Okay, Catherine, you seem to be in a kind of room. There's metal on the walls and there's a brick wall in front of you. Mm -hmm. Seems to be a lift, I think. Yeah. Ah. I think you better just sit tight for a moment. What sort of lift is it? Well, it, it may be mechanical, but it's also spellbound. And you want to get to level two, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you could try telling it. Ask it. Ask yeah. it to move. Right. Could you move, please? Where to? Towards me. Oh. oh, you're going down. You must be on your way to level two. Do you want to go up? Don't. <laughs> you wait till it stops. over one of them, Master. It looks like a fright night to me. Yes, it does. Mm. Well, it's your choice, team. You Decide which way you go. Yes. Right, okay. Yeah. The left. If Side you walk forward, Catherine. Sidestep. Stop. Now, sidestep to your left until I say stop. Stop. Now, if you walk forward. Okay, Catherine, you're um, going up some steps at the moment there. I think they're either made out of brick or wood. And you're just about to come to the top of them, out into what appears to be a corridor. Maybe on the outside. Yes. Oh, you look as though you're on the outside of something. Okay. You're still going round. You just turned a corner. Yeah. And there's a doorway in front of you, which is where you appear to be going. It's like a porch. Yes. Right, now you're in a room, and there's a great big archway or fireplace straight in front of you, and two, four windows. And there's also a man in the room at a desk. So I think you ought to go and sit down. Come, Catherine, sit. Phase shift complete, I'm afraid. And it appears to be completely effective. What about the opposition, Master? Are all his forces frozen in time? I'm afraid not, Pickle. They're not allowed to attack, of course, the rules. But there are some things down there that never sleep. More's the pity. Mm -hmm.